All right, you guys, so this is basically like a little follow-up video from a video we did the other day, talking about Twitch and how they laid off a third of its employees, which to me is mind-boggling that a company as big as Twitch that's owned by an even bigger corporation, Amazon, that can let go of that many people and just, you know, how'd they even let it get to that size? Dan Clancy, the CEO of Twitch, that is, basically went out on stream yesterday and, and addressed some things that are going on behind Twitch and the closed doors by, at that company. And basically, he said, they're not profitable. I found an article over here on Game Rant talking about Twitch and what's going on. And it's just a brief overview of everything that Dan Clancy spoke about on his stream. And I will give Dan Clancy one thing. For the most part, compared to the old Twitch CEO, he is very, very transparent. Except for when it comes to artistic nudity. I mean, homie was like, let's let's give it a try. Give it a try. Obviously, it didn't work. We're a bunch of fucking trolls. I mean, there, there's only so much you can be like, listen, artistic nudity, before you get somebody in the background drawing a big veiny cock. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's talk about this article and let's see what Dan Clancy has to say about the future of Twitch. Twitch is not profitable. The opening headline just grabbed me. I was like, huh, what do you mean? Twitch CEO Dan Clancy admits that the company's current business model is not profitable, leading many to worry about the future of the platform. Why should you worry about the future of the platform? Twitch is going to be here, whether it's owned by Amazon or somebody else. Let's keep going down this article, man. There's Twitch, money burning in the background. Twitch CEO admits during the live stream that the platform is not profitable, raising concerns about its future stability. Ex excessive growth, growth and unnecessary expansion has contributed to Twitch's financial troubles. And a lot of that, I, 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 like I said the other day, is due to the fact that we had a pandemic. And during said pan pandemic, people were sitting at home looking for any kind of interaction they can have. And what did they turn, to to turn towards? Turn tables. Holy crap, words are hard. They turn towards streaming so that they can interact with other individuals, whether it's in person or on the internet, to basically communicate with. Layoffs and cost-cutting efforts continue to affect multiple industries, leaving customers uncertain about the impact on their experiences. And that, that is the terrible part. When it comes to the tech sector, whether it's going to be the streaming side, the gaming side, what have you, the amount of firings and people being let go is just astronomical. It is mind-boggling at how many businesses are cutting, you know, a third, a quarter of their workforce. It's just insane. In a follow-up live stream after a recent layoff announcement, CEO Dan Clancy confesses that Twitch is not profitable, and we have been just relying heavily on the support from our parent company, Amazon, to sustain itself. And it's only a matter of time before Amazon's like, yo, no more Twitch Prime subs. No more. So if you guys have Twitch Prime subs, don't forget to go and show your favorite small-time creators some love before they're gone. That's all I'm going to say. Don't give it to big time names like Misgift. Don't give it to big time names like XQC. Give it to the small guys that, are wa that have 10, 15 people watching. Because I guarantee you, it will mean a hell of a lot more to them than those bigger guys. Twitch itself just announced a massive round of layoffs with roughly 500 people affected and this subsequently statement rega regarding Twitch's financial stability has left many wondering if this platform's future is in jeopardy. I'm going to have a hot take here at the end of this article like I did the other day. If you didn't watch the, the last video I did on Twitch, let me tell you. The hot take I had at the end of that video, which I will repeat again in this video, will blow your mind. One of the leading live stream platforms, Twitch, allows users to broadcast a variety of content to a live audience engage and engage with viewers with special events, channel emotes, and more. While Twitch has reminded, uh, remained the prominent entity in the live streaming space for close to two decades. I think we're only in like 15 years right now. We're, not, we're nowhere near two decades. Recent competition has changed the business model and has left the company in an unsteady 
financial situation. After recent statements from Twitch CEO, users are feel fearful that the platform may not last in the long run, which I highly won't, I doubt it will. Because think about it. The pioneers for many big spaces when it comes to technology nowadays aren't around. Think about social media platforms. The very, the biggest social media platform I remember that ramped up is no longer today, and that's MySpace. You don't hear people being like, yo, I'm going on MySpace. No, you'll, you'll hear about people finding memes on Facebook and everything, and I feel like Facebook is the second one that kind of came into the space. MySpace was the first guys on the block that epically fumbled the bag, and, you know, it leads into the second one. So are we about to witness that with Twitch, where Twitch was the big boy on the block, Got too big for his britches, and then Kick comes in and kind of kicked him in the butt. I'm just saying. Is it? Is it? Are we seeing history repeat itself where Twitch just kind of fumbles the bag just a little bit and Kick ends up taking over? Addressing, oh, addressing the questions following the recent layoffs announced, Twitch CEO Dan Clancy hosted a town hall uh, live stream during which he admitted that Twitch is not, is not profitable. Last year saw numerous technology and gaming companies facing layoffs and shutdowns to meet new cost-cutting business models. According to Cl uh, Clancy, the Twitch has not been profitable for some time, noting excessive growth and unnecessary expansion as the reason for the company's losing money. He explained that Twitch too often looked at an optimistic expectations of the future needs to determine its structure when it comes to having, uh, when it should have instead focus on where the company is in the present moment, which I agree. I mean, you always, you always want to project, which there's nothing wrong with projecting, but when you lose sight of where you're at right now, those pro projections don't mean anything. And that's terrible. By cutting back on its workforce, Twitch hopes to reduce overall overhead expenses as one of its major cost-cutting moves. Twitch is planning to end service in South Korea, leaving many to wonder if the platform will continue to shrink its workforce and availability. Well, when it comes to the availability in South Korea, that's due to the fact that they have to pay to be in that space. And come find out, like, it's... <laughs> It's an astronomical number that South Korea was asking because I guess they have to pay for bandwidth used in that country. And that's why they're moving out of there. Unlike here in America, where they don't have to pay for it, uh, the bandwidth used. Here in America, each and every single individual, obviously, you got to pay for your internet in order to have it. Continue on down. It will be blunt. Uh, I'll be blunt, we aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch. Big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring we don't lose money. That's, that's any business. It's not just Twitch. That is any business. Is They have to be able to stop the hemorrhaging and then dial everything back in. Layoffs, cut, uh, cutbacks continue to plague multiple industries. Barely two weeks into 2024, multiple companies across the gaming, content creation, and general technology sectors have announced more layoffs and cost-cutting efforts. Still reeling from the slew of cutbacks from last year, which there was, audiences continue to question when the downsizing trend will end and if customers will start to feel the brunt of the corporate trimmings, which I don't think we will. I haven't heard of Twitch cutting back on anything as of yet. So everything that you're looking to get, you're still going to be able to enjoy. But the problem is, it's only going to be a matter of time before Twitch, Amazon, stops offering that Twitch Prime. Because that's a lot of money they're losing out on only because you're, you're hitting that Twitch Prime. And like I said, use it on your small-time creators. Help those guys out. Because it, it will put a smile on those individuals' faces. Let me tell you. And also, kind words go a long way, you guys. Especially in streaming. It's hard. Um, social platform Discord just announced in a round of layoffs. And multiple indie and AAA gaming studios have announced game cancellations. All of which have been attributed to cost-cutting. Uh, cutting costs 
Many have voiced their support and sympathy for employees affected, but others are worried that the platform users and game gaming audiences will start to face the effort I mean the effects of the layoffs. Whether this will ring true remains to be seen, as companies like Twitch attempt to build profitability and preserve their longevity. Which that's the biggest thing is just the longevity, getting your name out there and the problem I think that Twitch is really going to face is the fact that discoverability, that discoverability for small time streamers and just streamers in general on Twitch is hard. Unless you're part of the Good Boys Network, unless you know somebody on Twitch, you're not getting discovered. You're buried. And that's the terrible part. That's why I moved to YouTube. Like at the end of the day, if you're looking to be discovered, you got to start on different platforms in order to push your audience potentially over to Twitch. And those platforms being Instagram Live, Facebook, ugh, Facebook, um, you know, and, and TikTok. And don't even get me started on TikTok. Let me tell you. Uh, ha, ha. Anyways, the, uh, the, I think I'm getting off the rails here because this is about Twitch. But like I said, at the end of the day, discoverability on Twitch is dog shit. If you're looking to be found, you're not going to be found. And like, if you're looking to build something there, it's hard. But I made the jump over to YouTube and I am finding success over there. Whether it's through my long form content where I like to come on here and I like to talk about gaming news. I like to talk about streaming. I like to talk about different things. And don't get me wrong. I use my dogs as well because guess what? I want to have my channel to be able to encompass everything I truly love and enjoy. And I truly love gaming, comic books, video games, you know, freaking Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, shiny cardboard in general, and my dogs. So sue me. My buddy of mine's like, oh, dog clout. But anyways, let's finish this last paragraph and then we'll get into the hot take and I'll ramble a little bit more. As executive work to reassure customers, many remain skeptical of the, lar uh, the larger trends impacting the, the, these industries. Audiences have noticed record profits boasted by the top companies with those same corporations among those laying off staff to minimize costs and maximize revenue. With AAA names like Embracer Group hitting with layoffs and Twitch continuing to downsize, it remains uncertain with what the broad scope results of the cutbacks will be. Let's go big screen. Like I said, at the end of the day, discoverability is one thing, especially if you're going to be a content creator. And this is one thing that kind of irks me is that I do this shit for free. I enjoy coming on here and communicating and talking with you guys about stuff. And when it comes to streaming, when it comes to content creation, period, end of story, it's an art form. And it's an art form that I've been working on honing for the last, you know, I've been doing this now for about a year and three months, year and four months over here on YouTube. And I've only been doing um, content like this where I sit down and I talk about gaming news and stuff like, you know, that I find intriguing in the streaming space potentially, right? For the last couple months. Because I kind of changed up how I wanted to do my long form. And one problem I see the future of Twitch having is discoverability issues. Because I'm telling you right now, when I go over to YouTube, I mean over to Twitch, you know what I'm going for? I'm going to watch Hassan. I'm going to watch Miskif. You got the big names over there. And it's hard, being a small fry, to be discovered on a big platform such as Twitch. Where Kick, it's a little bit easier to potentially get into the mix, get into the fray. And be able to be found, right? Because there's not as many people. Don't get me wrong. And it's the same with YouTube. YouTube, it gets kind of difficult at times to be found. Because it's a massive. And I mean a massive platform. And as long as you continue to pour your heart and your soul into this craft. That is content creation. You'll be discovered. 
Trust me. It, it, it's been a while. I've been getting I've been getting more and more traction as days go on. But let me tell you, don't ever be discouraged because companies like this, they they have no issues calling you in and being like, "Hey man, listen. I feel terrible about doing this, but you know it ain't it ain't working out." So don't ever lose sight on what you want to do and do what you want to fucking do. Because let me tell you, they're not going to give you two week notices. They're just going to show you the fucking door. So as long as you're responsible, make good decisions, do what you want to do and don't let the world dictate what you're going to do. Now, granted, it's been a rough fucking day for me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put this out there, but hopefully you guys like that video. Hopefully you guys mash that like button, comment down below because whether it's good, whether it's not, because there's there some cocksucker that, you know, commented, oh, it's such a turn off when you do your opening monologue and then you're like, like, comment, subscribe, man. Listen, it, it's all part of the platform. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Have a great fucking day, man. And subscribe, man. It really does help out. It's free. And it helps out the channel. It really builds up. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later.